Hi everyone, and welcome back to another video. My name is Anton, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the NES DS emulator that works with any R4 card and any DS. If you want to see more tutorials on the channel, start now by hitting that subscribe button, and let's get started. So, I'm just going to be using the DSi for this tutorial, it doesn't matter what DS you use to use the emulator on, I just prefer this DS. So anyway, once we've got the R4 card set up and running, we're just going to go to the game section and go down to where it says NES DS. It has a little Mar jumping Mario icon, and just click that. Once it loads up, we'll see a bunch of text here, and those are just your folders. I prefer to have all my NES games in a specific folder instead of just everywhere on the R4 card. It makes it a lot simpler to navigate. So what we're going to do is just click on the NES folder, and depending on how many ROMs, it should take a while to uh, load up. So once it's loaded up, what we're going to do is just click on the NES ROM. So why don't we check out Super Mario Brothers? So as you can see, it just loads up perfectly fine on the top screen. And if we take a look at the bottom, we just tap the bottom to view all the settings. There's a bunch of stuff here that we can customize how we want the NES game to play. The file button lets you load ROM and save states. So for example, say you're tired of this game and want to go into another game, you can easily do this without setting your entire DS. So that's pretty helpful for those things, and you can do save states. Uh, for example, say you're in a game, you can just load it quickly. Now let's click on the game button. This allows us to configure how we want the game to play. So for example, here are controls. As you can see, I don't think you can really change your controls. So, But what you can do is just swap the Y and B buttons to make it more comfortable. In the display, we have a bunch of options as well. For example, say you want the scaling to be different because it does scale the screen differently since it's not the same resolution as an NES. So the size and some sprites have to be altered slightly. Sometimes you won't notice, but for some sprites like Mario, he might look slightly different. This does not change the gameplay at all and it feels perfectly fine, but it just might look a little different. In the cheats tab, you can put a whole bunch of different cheats that you want for your NES game. Very simple and easy. The config allows us to figure out which one screen we want to display the game on. This is very helpful if you have a broken DS that the top screen doesn't work, so you can just display it on the bottom screen and everything works just the same as it does. So anyway, let's take a look at some gameplay of the emulator, just to show you how well it's run. Anyway, let's take a look at how to download it. So the first thing you're going to do is go down to the description of the video and take a look at the link that says download NESDS. This will take you to Google Drive, then what you're going to do is download everything, extract the folder, and then there's going to be two things inside, an NES folder and the ROM. You're just going to drag and drop those into your R4 card, and just as simple as that, everything is set up and ready to go. If you do want to learn more of how to set up your R4 card, definitely make sure to check out this video here called Ultimate R4 Card Setup. You may have seen it already, but this will just allow you to set up the R4 card correctly and give you all the emulators already bundled in so you don't need to do much work. Anyway guys, that about wraps up the video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe to see future videos on the channel, and I will see you guys next time.